Hello everybody, in uh, this video I want to show you the main features of the Cabinet Maker tool that's part of the Module Elements CAD for Factor Works. So um, I uh, go to another drawing and uh, go in the layer and here you see already a, a cabinet and this was generated with the Cabinet Maker tool. But the other alternative is that you can import directly cabinets from the mregio website. So when you go to mregio.com you can create your own cabinet and um, I'm already registered here with the full version where I can export to DXF as well and I make a new cabinet but I just want to make it quick because we will focus on elements cat but nonetheless you can uh, have here some blanks and you can design here you can assign here um, shelves, columns, rows, uh, doors etc and this is very powerful and um, the interesting part is that you can either drag and drop or you define here two doors and uh, here we are and on the left side but you can assign a plint as well or a working blade uh, but now we already go to the export area and we can export now the room separately and the elements cat cabinet so we go back to uh, factor works and uh, now we go to a blank layer and uh, import the export the dxf file and uh, we confirm is okay and uh, now we have here the room and with the second step we make the import of the mregio cabinet and uh, now we have the correct result. Well in the um, shaded mode we can see now the result and now I activate uh, all items except the cabinet and put it to another layer so we have a better overview and uh, now we go directly to the um, info palette and uh, here we see that uh, a parametric cabinet uh, is listed here and uh, we call it the default the draft parameters here because uh, we have uh, only a few uh, parameters that are responsible for the main uh, construction of the cabinet. Well uh, uh, let's take a look deeper I will um, go to the shaded options and sh draw the edges and uh, now we have here uh, an area for slope so we can slope it left or right and can assign values here so uh, same goes for the sloping when we uh, go uh, again in the sloping area we can slope as well the back side so now we have um, a sloping on three sides and um, apart from this we can make the slope as well from the top view and um, can define here the values alternatively we can here define as well uh, just a uh, part uh, sloped so we have here several uh, options and apart from this we can make as well corner units 90 or 45 degree uh, corner units and um, now we go uh, back to the uh, initial cabinet and we can take a look at the segments that we have here. I can uh, define here the, the height of the cabinet and I can uh, define for example framed doors but I can uh, define as well uh, symbols with um, uh, images and uh, this is a very flexible uh, feature but we uh, go deeper in another videos um, with this um, area and we move uh, on here with uh, the height we can define further segments let's uh, assume we have here 200 millimeters filled with a drawer and you see that the, the body side um, 
is larger now and uh, we can uh, make as well a plain doors again but we want to define two shelves so we see now that we have shelves now assigned and um, the next step is that we go uh, into the details when we make a double click or we go to configure cabinet we can um, define the details. We have for example here the front section where I can um, uh, make uh, inside doors and the uh, help is very important here that you see how it uh, works in detail. So um, I go uh, back to the last uh, step and uh, I can define here uh, another uh, handle for example and um, I assign it with a click here we have the option with the um, uh, handle side and I can define uh, the middle side if it's necessary or not and here we have the thickness and we have the gaps here we have uh, some kind of profile that you can assign so uh, we go here to a profile of course you can define your own uh, profiles and well it, it, it goes very deep the cabinet maker tool so don't worry that it's sufficient for your purposes we develop it in the meantime since 25 years um, but the challenge is that uh, we have to keep it simple so um, 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 it's uh, very interesting and Factorworks uh, provides um, structures that uh, enable it to keep it simple for example the classes but now we move on here with the body section and uh, here we have several types for example of the body and uh, we can uh, define here for example um, another construction with um, um, 45 degree edge and um, we can define the the length uh, the depth etc you have every detail that you need for your purposes so um, when i undo again we see again the construction and I go uh, back to the uh, front and uh, I can eliminate the symbol and uh, the next uh, area is the the drawer section here I can define already uh, drawers with uh, drilling files and um, this uh, selection I can assign here and as soon as I assign it, I can uh, define here in the dialog the uh, uh, construction of the bottom of the drawer. And uh, mm, here we are. In the back panel, I can define um, if there is a, a notch or um, how deep is the notch, etc. The thickness of the panel, every detail you need. Um, but now I want to make a, a step to the config configurations because some cabinets are very complex and uh, here we have um, pre-configurations that enables a very quick um, construction. So here you have for example the option to generate handlebars. I confirm the values and now you see that all the uh, sides are already um, um, uh, provided with the cutout and uh, what happened directly was that cutouts were created. So uh, these cutouts um, consist of a cutout and a standalone part. Of course you can change everything here afterwards, it's no problem at all. Uh, I undo this uh, action as well so I have here my initial cabinet again and uh, now I make a double click and show you another example because we have here s frequently the um, um, option that we need uh, working plates and uh, you can round them and you can define here the distances so 
afterwards uh, the ready working plate is generated and of course you can uh, define here an offset with um, 800 millimeters for example um, to overlap um, adjacent uh, cabinets so we go uh, back again uh, but uh, alternatively we can create uh, a new uh, cabinet and uh, we assign as well here uh, a texture and um, now I want uh, to show you a very nice feature because we have here the uh, option that we uh, miter the edges uh, from the cabinet so um, when I confirm is OK then you see that we have here completely um, mitering at all edges with 45 degrees and I can show it clearer when we go to the front section and open the cabinet. So now you see very good that all the edges are mitered and uh, this option you can as well control when you go in the elements info section and uh, here we have uh, the option either to define edges where that we can assign or we say it's uh, we make a 45 uh, chamber and uh, you see here it's already uh, assigned and uh, of course you ca uh, could change it uh, however you like um, here we have some further tabs where we see the assignment of the textures uh, for each class or each panel we can define separate uh, textures in the um, uh, material region you can define boards uh, whatever you like and um, they are based on the CSV files that you can um, modify however you like so these are base CSV files and you can uh, change this with Excel uh, and other calculation tools. But now we go to the drilling pattern um, section and here we can assign um, dowels or um, uh, other templates whatever we like and uh, uh, I can go in the elements cam tool and change all these uh, um, files and I can modify them however I like and save them and they will be actualized uh, automatically in uh, Factorworks. So I assign here some uh, items but uh, uh, I want to... Oh, I have already assigned uh, shelves so everything is okay and I can fill out the further segments and I make three drillings here I want a drawer uh, for example at Antaro I make here um, uh, a fixing uh, assign hinges from the sidebar and uh, mounting blades and here we are uh, when I go uh, inside here then you see that all the assignments uh, took place and uh, now I go to the export section and uh, make an cam export um, here I can uh, define if there are some items that are not uh, needed in the cam software then I can exclude them besides I can export two sides etc there are several options but I confirm is okay and uh, assign now um, um, an export file confirm is ok and what now happens is that uh, elements cam is triggered and it directly creates previews of the uh, created files so uh, when I um, uh, go in the settings from the elements cam you see that there are uh, many machines that we can uh, support and we have um, 
uh, export options, but never mind, we, uh, we will uh, support your machine as well. And here we have a specific MPR export, so we can um, e generate directly MPR files with or without a post processor. So that means uh, when I go to uh, um, Woodwop, I can uh, show you an example that uh, maybe our cabinet one that was generated automatically and here we have all the generated items now. Of course we have the option to generate a panel list and uh, for this uh, feature I go to create parts list and here I can uh, load settings or save settings means I can define the range of all the columns and um, then I can uh, uh, decide if I want to uh, cre create a file, a CSV file and a worksheet. Uh, so I have several settings here but in the end I will uh, get here a, a part list and uh, I can move on with this part list in order to go to an uh, optimization software etc. If you enjoyed this uh, video so uh, you can uh, leave a comment uh, in the video uh, besides you can uh, uh, register to our newsletter and you can subscribe to our um, online academy the links are um, in the info of the video where you can uh, uh, subscribe to an online course that's completely free and you see uh, tons of videos with elements kept.